From our city to yours, this is AMI Halifax. It's just like a scene from a classic video game. In fact, it's exactly like a scene from a video game. Pac-Man is alive and well in downtown Halifax. Matt Stewart, creator of the live action game Halipac, says he's always wanted to bring the game to life. I played Pac-Man growing up and uh, I always really liked the whole concept of the game, you know, just uh, keeping running away from, uh, from the ghosts, really. So I just really wanted to uh, make it come to life. Jenny wears a yellow Pac-Man costume. As Halipac, I have to weave through the streets of downtown Halifax to avoid the ghosts. Meanwhile, Matt is back at Grand Parade. He's tracking all the players' movements and giving me directions through my earpiece. The game was made possible by a no-strings-attached grant from the Halifax chapter of the Awesome Foundation. Founded in Boston in 2009, the Awesome Foundation now has over 60 chapters around the globe. Zane Kelsall is one of the trustees of Awesome. So there's 30 of us, so there's 10 on a board. We all pitch in $100, and every quarter we meet and hear three to four pitches and then decide which of the three to four pitches is most worthy of $1,000. So and the idea behind the ideas is it's ideas that wouldn't get funding somewhere else. Things that are going to enrich our city's cultural landscape but don't have financial benefit. So Halipac will continue to weave through the streets of Halifax, avoiding the ghosts in hope of victory. Stewart says Halipac could be played in any city. It's something you can take uh, anywhere around the world, really, and play it in different cities. So it's, it's one of those things that uh, the sky's the limit, really. Jenny Bovard, AMI Halifax.